hey guys welcome to my channel so guys in this video we are going to start with the new series where we will create a blogging website in php okay so guys we will start with the php admin panel and to the front end where we will build a blogging website something related to this and now guys let's get started with building the admin panel in php for blogging website so guys let's go to one free admin dashboard so guys i have just start bootstrap.com where under templates we can find the admin dashboard so while entering that you will be able to find here the free template so let's download and start with this guys so just click on free download okay so it's downloaded let's go to our downloads and extract here perfect so now guys you can start integrating in our blogging website so this is the php blog i have created guys let's move to the ht docs okay so this is my path folder let's open with the vs code editor guys all set so now guys let's get back to our downloaded template and open with code this also let's close now we have to copy few things so which is this three files let's copy copy and paste inside the php blog so guys we have to create a dashboard right so let's create one admin folder and inside this admin folder you'll paste the files which you have copied from here from there okay so you can find that under php blog we have admin folder and inside this admin folder let's create a index.php file index.php file done and inside this admin only guys we want to create one folder with the name includes includes and inside this we will create header footer and scripts okay so let's begin with that header.php where start with the footer .php i want a navbar also so navbar.php one sidebar also will be guys so for that also let's create sidebar.php sidebar php file okay and now let's begin with the index page so first step let's go to our template okay so this is a start bootstrap where let's move to index.html file guys okay so you can find the head tag let's copy this and paste inside our header.php all set so this is some cdn link of data tables and this is the font or some data tip okay and this is your style.css which is inside the css folder done guys so now let's get back let's minimize this this is your navbar as it's currently mentioned it's top navbar okay so let's copy this and paste inside top navbar so let's create a file with the name navbar hyphen top dot php and paste that so now guys we have to this header one and footer navbar okay so we need to call that inside this index.php file so let's begin php open php close first you need to include open and close function where you will tell header.php file okay so which is under includes folder so go to includes folder inside includes folder header.php so same way you will call your navbar.php also okay navbar which is navbar top.php 
so before this guys you need to just check out once in the template we have the body copy this and go to your header start the body guys over here and now we have calling this navbar let's call this navbar inside header only so you don't need to include here in index file so let me just paste it php open php close paste and let's get back so we have copied the navbar and this is one side nav guys over here you can see side nav let's minimize this control c or else you can copy this full section control c and paste that in the side nav bar so side bar just paste that okay let's minimize this side nav that is included in what div section okay the side nav is included in one div section so guys this thing should be called in your header file so let's move let's go to header.php after navbar the div tag is called and after this you can include your side navbar okay so you can mention that as sidebar.php done so your sidebar is set over here now let's get back and then your content will start from here so for this content guys you can just copy this copy and let's minimize this get back after the sidebar i'm going to paste this okay inside the header let's get back yep and let's copy this full bottom thing inside one footer tag okay control c go to one footer dot php and paste that all things said guys so under main you are started with the header main and you have ended on the main okay and this last two div tags which is coming over here so this is the one and this is the second all set now let's go to index.php file and yep let's copy this and paste and call the footer.php so after this we want to call the scripts dot php let's create a file guys for this new file script dot php where you will paste all the script links okay let's move below and just copy all this links yep paste it and after this we need to end the body so you can just copy this body and end with the script tag done guys now these are the chart areas we don't require all this so let's remove this chart area data tables we require let's keep that and this is your chart again not required this is your bootstrap guys so let's keep this done so now let's get back on the index page all set now guys inside this you can start with designing the container so where is that let's move so inside this container you have some sections right so let's utilize this let's copy this first go back paste and again let's copy this row full row copy and paste that all set guys this is column d3 done and we have to end one more div which will be for the main div okay this is your container all set and now let's see the output guys so first let's go to our google chrome 
now let's go to our admin and hit enter so you can see that we have set up our dashboard perfectly so let me just show you the dashboard mentioned over here is php admin panel for blogging okay so let me show you the output refresh cool so guys you can see saw that how to set up our admin panel for blogging website let's see this drop down works fine perfect it's working everything is working fine guys all the js file is cdn are linked so we have successfully completed how to integrate our admin panel in php for blogging website and now guys let's continue in next video how to build the login and registration system in php for this blogging site so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share